Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I filmed. I think it's been like a week and it feels really, really weird. But as you guys know, I am in school and school has been so crazy lately. I just have been, ugh, there was just so much to do. So many papers to write, so much homework to be done. And then my mom came and visited, which was really, really nice. So yeah. I've been a little busy, but I'm so glad to be back into my routine and I hopefully I'm gonna be able to film a bunch of videos today so that I can upload them throughout the week so you guys will have stuff to watch. I miss you so much. We're almost to 13,000 subscribers and I'm so, so, so very excited to get there. I just wanna say welcome to all of the new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining the family. It means so much to me. And yeah, today we're in Legacy Challenge. I'm so excited to get back into this. I haven't filmed this in a really, really long time, so I don't remember what's going on. <laughs> so yeah, enough chit chat. Let's get into this episode. Okay guys, here we are, back on the lot. Um, okay, it looks like a bunch of people are leaving. Oh, you know what it was? We had the Halloween party and then we aged up Oliver. That's right. Ren, 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 Ren. If you're dying, get in the house. Ooh. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. All right. Man, she does that way too often. Okay, so what the heck? Why are you? Oh my God, she's, where are you? Please get in the house. I swear if you die right now, okay. We're all good. I'm gonna get her to hibernate because her vampire energy is so low. So that needs to be taken care of. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> Olive is going through a phase right now. She's feeling very rebel rebellious and will seek to challenge parental authority. So I thought this was pretty perfect. Um, I want to get a lot done in this episode just so we can move on with the story. So, I was thinking you guys wanted Olive to have a teen pregnancy, but I'm pretty sure her birthday is... Oh no, her birthday's in three days. So we totally could have a teen pregnancy. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I turned it on in MCC Command Center, and I just need to figure out who she should get pregnant with. And Harvest Fest is tomorrow? Okay, that's fun. We can have some family time then. Um, you know, she doesn't know that many people. So it's like, there's Tane, there's Jerome, there's Kane. He's very interesting looking. Zach, but I'm kind of feeling Zach for Oliver. Um, should we just have a baby with orange? Because, I mean... It would make sense because when they were at the party together, they were kind of like off in the corner and she like, she sold him pills. I was like, girl, what the heck are you doing? She's just like being really rebellious right now. Um, doing drugs, partying, all that stuff. Okay, Billy, that's, that's great. Um, so yeah, maybe it would make the most sense and maybe oliver or not oliver olive can be our first single parent which i think would be pretty cool there are not a lot of weddings in this let's play like barely any of the people have gotten married not saying that that's like bad but hey zara why are you why are you not going to work go to work fool okay and i said that i wanted to move out zara and max I do, but I want six. Oh my gosh, I don't think she's gonna get promoted. I kind of wanted them to max their careers and max one skill before I move them out so that it goes towards like the legacy. Wait a minute. Dancing is only five? What? Okay, I didn't know that she maxed her dancing skills, so that that that's great. Um, let's see. So we can probably max her video gaming skill before we move her out. And what the heck, Zara? Look at her vampire lore skill. What? Why? <laughs> that is so freaking random. 
okay, I guess she has, like, an interest in vampires, which I think is hilarious. And then Max, um, let's see what you got going on. Your charisma skill's almost maxed, so is your- maxed, maxed. <laughs> so is your cooking skill, um, okay. So we can max those two things before we move you out. And then your job, what are you? Seven. Okay, so we might be able to get you to your um, level 10 in your career as well. So we'll see how that goes. You are now a young adult. So, hmm, what should we do with you? You need to have a boyfriend. Let's invite Zach over. I'm going to age him up. Rainbow poop. Oh yeah, we need to take Moose to the vet. Okay, let's just do that really quick. I'm wondering, because... Ooh, we got an achievement. Nice. There's this wellness treat that you can give to your dog that, like, cures them of whatever they have. Um... Wellness treat. Treat that boosts your pet's wellness. Okay, let's just get a bunch of these so we never have to come back to the vet again. We have enough money, so... Yeah, we'll just get 40. Let's see if we can just give him the treat. And we might not even have to check him in. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Cute. Is your nose gonna get better? Yes! You're fine now! Okay, no, no need to even check into the vet. So let's head home. Those treats are seriously a lifesaver. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good Halloween, by the way. I didn't do anything on, on Halloween day, but I did go to a Halloween party show thing and I went to um, the Disneyland like Halloween party thing that they have. So that was fun. At least I got to do some spooky things. I, I was actually gonna vlog on um, Halloween day. I vlogged the first half of the day, but then like by the second half, we didn't do anything. So yeah, I ended up not vlogging. Did Zach say he was gonna come over or what? Zach's team will be right over. Okay, where he at? Zach, oh, there he is. Okay, all right, I'm gonna get Max to bake a cake um, and then we can age up Zach. Hopefully it'll work because the last time we tried to age up someone, ooh, yay, all those grades are up. Good job, girl. Good job. Christy would like to come over and hang out. Probably not. Olive is so freaking tired. So it wouldn't be any fun for you. <laughs> Hurry up with that cake, boy, before Zach leaves. I'm gonna get Max to buy a lottery ticket. All right, let's do Age of Sim, Zach Singer. Hopefully you it works. Please work. Yay, he's doing it! Nice. I wonder what trait he's gonna get. Ew, look at all these piles of throw up. Ew, they're probably from the dog when it they were when he was she he shoot I can't remember he when he was sick. Poor guy. Okay, 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 okay. Let's um. Thanks, Jerome. Let's go on upstairs. Oh, he's- I forgot he has such a childish room still. Okay, okay, okay. So Zach's a geek. Let's get rid of this. That is fine for now. Come on, guys. Come up here and chat. Talk about dreams. He's like, so my aspiration is to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. I also want to go on two dates. What's yours? What do you dream about? Maybe he wants to be something art related and that would make so much sense. Compliment his outfit. Discuss interests. Ask if single. No, where are you going? I don't like it that you're wearing this. Can we get you into regular clothes? All right, let's share a secret with him. Let's be like, okay, so, oh, he is single, okay. So, I, not a lot of people know this, but I like guys and girls. I am bi. And he's like, no way, so am I. Oh my god, that's so crazy. Oh. Nice prank. Okay, let's try and pull some romance with him and see if he takes it. Yay! He was like, I knew it. I knew you've always liked me. Well, what can I say? 
It is what it is. Oh, they're singing! Are oh, he's singing about the lottery! <laughs> oh my god, first kiss. Yes! Aww. Yay! Uh, you know what? He looks so much like, um, Filippo. Like, he looks like he belongs in the Bellucci family. They're so cute together. They're perfect. All right. I'll just leave those two to it. <laughs> All right, Olive is still sleeping away her uh, tiredness, but it looks like she's got enough sleep. So why don't you come and have a bath? Um, take a bath with lavender foam. Why not? A $30 bath. Why not? <laughs> okay. Um, Max, I need you to come and practice your psych self up and then please practice your speech so that you can max your charisma skill before I move you out. Olive, after your bath, um, did we decide on orange? I think it would make the most sense. Look at this lavender foam. How cute is that? This is huge mood, you guys. Like, that's what I need to be doing right now. <laughs> Let's get her to invite over Orange. Um, hurry up with that bath, please. Okay, I need you to ask him to be your boyfriend. Please. Oh, look, they're, we <gasps> they're wearing like the same outfit. Did I? I don't remember doing that, but oh my gosh, how cute. <laughs> All right, guys, so they are now dating. They are now boyfriend and boyfriend. Oh, Love it! So happy for him. So he needs to go on two dates. So we can get that done. You, my love, what are you doing? You coming over to Ren's house to eat your sandwich? Okay. Um, or did you come over to Ren's house to throw the trash away? Okay, come and hug him. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Does Moose not like him? Or what's up, Orange? Thanks for coming over. Okay, I'm gonna get them to come outside. And I'm gonna get her to make drinks for them. I wish he would have a drink as well, but that's kind of hard for me to do. Um, let's vent to him a little bit. Oh my god, she got so sick from that wine. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so Olive is sad drunk right now. So, I mean, shoot, maybe she just like is gonna make a really bad decision. Drunk woohoo. All right, she's crying. That's so sad. Okay, maybe she's just like, I don't know. Maybe he's just trying to make her feel better. One thing leads to another. Why do they have to go in Max's bed for this? Maybe being downstairs is too loud and she wanted privacy? I don't know. I don't know if this is going to get her pregnant, but it's definitely getting her fun up. This is her first time too. And she's drunk. That's so sad. Alrighty, guys. So, yeah. Olive has made that decision and... We'll see what happens, I guess. Okay, so it's Harvest Fest. Max, you are just here practicing your speech. Oh my gosh, why do you have such a bad relationship with him? Oh, this was, must be one of the sins that you dislike. That's right. What else do you need to do for your aspiration anyway? Achieve level six mis mischief skill? You could definitely do that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Look at this text you just got from Christy. You really had woohoo with my best friend? You are gross. I wonder if Orange is Christy's best friend. Whoa, that's pretty spicy, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so why don't we have a little party for um, Harvest Fest? We can invite over April and the baby. Mm, I wonder how old the baby is now. I completely forgot about it. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh,
cute cute little fall decor we knew to, blah, blah, blah. we do need to be selling all of our plants still just come and super sell everything ren who the a lot of you guys wanted me to like investigate this guy a little bit better he's really cute so i'm gonna get zara to plan the event this time all right let's do a dinner party um everyone will be the host i wish when you selected someone as a host everyone that they knew will be like able to invite you know what i mean that would just make things so much easier yeah. what's this caprice salad zara made a salad too how cute and she's having pasta primavera okay sure <laughs> olive does not look happy what's wrong love are you feeling okay I texted someone, but they didn't text back. Oh no! Oh no, maybe Orange just used her for woohoo and is now ghosting her. That's so very sad, isn't it? Poor Olive, she's really going through it right now. All right, what are you up to? Going potty, that's fine. Why don't you come um, invite Zach over for um, Harvest Fest? Where is everybody? Did we not, like, start an event? Okay, you guys, here's Max Jr. Aww. Okay, we gotta have a look at him and create a sim. We just have to. I can't believe he's already a child already. We missed his entire toddlerhood. Okay, oh my gosh, he's so cute. He has two little, um, two little beauty mark thingies. Guys, this is one of the cutest kids I have seen in The Sims. April and Max make some very, very attractive babies. All right, guys, here he is. And the tr the aspiration he got is artistic prodigy, and he's a giggle meister. These goofy children love to laugh because they can. How cute! Okay, guys, that's Max Jr., one of the cutest kids I've seen so far. In this Let's Play, actually in The Sims ever. Alrighty, let's resume Harvest Fest here. Why don't you call to Grand Meal? Everyone come and eat. What's this? Someone made Black and Bass as well? Who? Ren. Wow, everyone pitched in. How lovely. Okay, who are we missing? We got April, we got the bit, we got the kid. Um, Zach should be here. Zara's parents. Ooh, Alexander, that's who we're missing. Zach, why are you being antisocial eating outside alone? Come on now. Come on now. Alrighty, cute harvest fest times. Why are you feeling flirty? Can you not? <laughs> Can you please not? Cute, 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 cute. Aww. Why you gotta stand in the way, ma'am? Olive, come on, it's Harvest Fest. <laughs> she's so like, oh my gosh, she's either sleeping or rebelling. It's pretty bad. Okay, all right, Ren. I want you to come over here and. Oh my goodness, look at all these options they have. Ask risque question. Ren has still- she's only kissed one person in her life. She still has never been in a relationship or gone there with anyone. I don't know, I really like her and Alex. I love the fact that she saved his life and now he's just like kind of obsessed with her and obsessed with like the way that she lives her life. Being a vampire, being immortal, I think that really like... I don't know, it, it interests him. How cute are they?
They've known each other for so long, too. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I love them together so much. Bye, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, so Max, please get your needs up so that we can get you to work on your, let's see, what do you need to do for your job? Logic skill, browse intelligence. You've done that already? When did you do that? I didn't tell you to do that. I can't believe you did it on your own. I might get Zara to enter a novice tournament. Let's do Genie's Curse. I've never even heard of that in my life. See, I don't know what to do with Oliver. I don't know like what. He's a bookworm, he's a foodie. You know what would be a good job for him? A food critic. Since he likes books, I assume he likes writing and reading and he likes food, so that would only make sense as well. So that's the route we're gonna go for him. A food critic. Let's see, where is that? Critic. Okay. Should Oliver switch jobs? Yes, no more barista for you. Okay, cool. So he is now a critic. So we're just gonna get him to um, write a column because he needs to level up his writing skill. And yeah, that's the route he's gonna take, which is pretty dang exciting. And uh, I noticed this. <laughs> Olive is pregnant. Uh, yeah, she's pregnant. So, the whole teen pregnancy thing is happening, which I think is pretty crazy. I've never done a teen pregnancy in The Sims before. So, yeah, that's pretty fun. I'm very excited to see what her little baby's gonna look like. Oliver has reached writing level two, so he's done everything he needs for his job. Max, oh my God, why don't you go to sleep? Like, <laughs> okay, come upstairs, use the bathroom, go to bed. Zara, how are you doing? Did you win? Oh, <gasps> she won the gaming tournament she entered. That's what's up. All right, I'm gonna get her to, um, where's that one guy? This one. Um, let's send him a text, see if he's available today to hang out. And then I also want to invite this guy over. Let's see if Dirk texts us. Okay, it doesn't look like he's going to, but she has work soon. I'm gonna go ahead and invite this guy over because I'm very curious. Maybe um, they're coworkers? I'm not 100% sure, but he's pretty cute. Um, let's see, can we ask him about his career? Where is that option? Ask about career. Ask him! He's an architect? Where did you meet this guy? Okay, go to work. That is not, crashing there is not a good impression, I have to say. Okay, well, you can like leave anytime you want. Smooch boss. Let's give that a shot. What the? Okay, lady. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and... Why are you sad? Awful holiday? Oh my god, it's fine. Ask on date. When do you have work? 22 hours. You have time. You have time, you have time. Maybe going on a date with Zach will make you feel better. All right, ask him for some advice so you're not sad anymore because you being sad is really annoying. Really annoying. This is such a cute lot. Oh my gosh, I would love this cafe. I love all the greenery around. Okay, so we got gold. So I think that we can switch control to Olive since we don't need to control the date anymore. Um, so what else did we want to do? I want to get Zara with that programmer, like, really, really badly. I want her to end up with him. He's a global superstar, so I assume he lives in some mansion somewhere. So I think it would be fun to move her in there. I think she deserves it. 
how are you doing? What trimester are you in? Third trimester in 22 hours. Okay, go ahead and do your homework. What if Max had a baby with the gardener? <gasps> that would be so crazy and so juicy and so like Max. You're almost to level 10 charisma, so you just keep practicing your speech. What about you, Ren? Pipe organ, you've almost maxed. So why don't you go and practice that? Pluck for inspiration. Dang, Dirk's inviting us out, but we're super tired. Let's just go. Let's go and take a sleep replacement because I, I've been wanting to hang out with him. I want them to get their um, romance up. Well, they're all standing like that again. I hate it when they do that. Oh my gosh, I forgot he's a celebrity, so it's like so hard to go out with him. People just like freaking... Where have you been? What do you mean we just saw you? What the? That was strange. Let's... Let's flirt with him. He's feeling flirty, so let's see what happens. There you go! He's taking it! Cuties! I think he might have that phone quirk, because he's always on his phone. Alright, I'm having them try this bubble thing. But I don't think she's feeling it. Well, this is cute. Oh my god, look at her voice! Oh no, it changed her voice! This is so romantic. Like, look at that city view! Holy crap! Look at that! Cuties. <laughs> oh man, okay. Alright, let's go back home. I'm gonna switch control to Oliver and let Zara enjoy herself. If Olive has a girl, then she's gonna have to get pregnant by someone else because the next heir needs to be a boy. So this might be tricky. I'm not sure. Has she even shared the news? Why don't you share the news with Ren first before you share the news with Zara? She's not even really showing yet, so no one... I doubt anyone has figured it out, but she's about to tell Ren, which is very scary. But Ren is a very, um, she's extremely accepting, especially when it comes to family. So, I don't know. I think she would be happy, super happy. Let's give Moose some attention. train him to sit. I'm gonna get Max to um, tell Ren to hook up with Alex. I want to see what she says. <laughs> Alex sounds like a catch. Aww. Look at them. I love them so much. I don't think any generation is gonna top this one. Not gonna lie. It's gonna be really hard. I'm gonna get Max to cook a bunch of stuff so he can max his, um... Max his cooking skill. Do some spaghetti, do some cookies, do some... Let's see, what else is there? Ooh, gumbo. Yum! Like he's almost to level nine. <gasps> Bow. Oh my gosh, you guys! Okay. I didn't do this. I didn't do this at all. But look at Zara and, um... Zara and Ren's relationship now. Where is it? Look at it! They're good friends. And I didn't do this. You remember, like, how I was um, comparing Ren and April's relationship and Ren and Zara's relationship? They did this on their own. I think that's so funny. Look, their bar is almost completely full. You know what? Ooh, Ren has mastered the dancing skill. 
<laughs> Everyone in this family is so good at dancing. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. They're gonna be best friends. I think Ren needs a best friend and <laughs> they just did this themselves. Aww. I love that. I absolutely love that so much. So many unexpected things happen in this freaking family. Like, <laughs> I don't even know. Look, and now they're sharing secrets. You know why Zara has such a high vampire skill? It's because of Ren. Ren probably, like, um tells her all this stuff about being a vampire and that's why she knows so much so cute so cute i love them all right how's that cooking skill going uh oh what happened you're ill poor boy oh man all this looks so good keep it cooking keep it cooking keep it cooking keep it cooking what else should we make Let's do a tofu stir fry as well. Look, she's doing her homework in the gazebo. That is so cute. And it's snowing. Oh my God, look. This is so cute. Oh, and look who came to join her. Aww. I love this game! I love, love, love it. Work for Oliver starts in one hour. What would you like to do? Go to work, for sure. How's your mood? Really good, and you did all of your work assignments. I can't stop thinking about you. <sighs> they need to get married. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're having a wedding on the lot. I really don't want this wedding to be like super over the top. I just kind of want it to almost like they're eloping, but um, but with like just close family and friends just casually on the lot. Okay, so there's that for their wedding later on. It is a Saturday, so maybe they should just like get married today. I know it's kind of moving kind of fast, but if you think about it, time in The Sims goes by super fast and they are soulmates, so let's just get it done, you know what I mean? Look, there's plenty of food for everyone to eat and it's a Saturday. Yeah, it's a good day for this. Oh shoot, he has work. When does he get back? 5 p.m. Hmm. I guess they can have a, uh, a nighttime wedding. Why not? What a good girl. Look at her doing her homework at her desk. Oliver needs a new challenge at work. How does he ask the boss? Present suggestions. Yay. Performance gains. That's what's up. Look at them, they're so cute in their matching oh shirts. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh no, he's leaving. No, don't go. You can't go. We have to ask you to marry us. Um. Hmm. Where's a good spot? Invite him to stay the night. Invite him to stay the night. And then why don't you guys... The graveyard? No, no, no. How about the gazebo? Here we go. I wanted them to kind of like be in the gazebo, but this works. Oh, are they gonna be? Come on. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Aww. Yay, you said yes! Yay! Uh, 
Aww. I'm so happy for them. What happened oh, to this no light? Where, when did that burn? Their relationship <laughs> went so fast, but I love them. I love them so much. I think they're definitely meant to be. So tomorrow is Olive's birthday. I'm kind of hoping that she has her baby before she is a young adult, just so that the teen pregnancy thing um, is accurate. Max is super sick. Uh, do we have medicine anywhere? Does, oh, he does. He Oh, Olive has it. Okay, can we just give one to Max so that he can take it so he doesn't look so nasty anymore? Take the medicine, please. Thank you. You look so much better now. Olive, you haven't even told Zara that you're pregnant. I'm pretty sure she knows, but like, I wonder how she feel. Like, how do you think Zara would feel? I kind of feel like Zara was almost in the same boat. Zara was a little bit older when she had the kids, but... I don't know. Everyone's probably really, really supportive since she's doing this on her own. Hanji. I just kind of get that vibe from this family that everyone is really um, accepting. Maybe Carlos is not. She's feeling real angry right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting to have Max Jr. on the freaking weekends. Oh my gosh, it's always Sunday when I realize. Oh well. Whoa, what the heck? Oh. Ol Oliver got promoted to level 3 of the critic career already? When did that happen? Did oh my god, yeah. That's awesome! I didn't even realize. Okay, we went on a date. How come this didn't... This didn't work. I'm, I'm mad. I'm real mad. Oh my gosh, I forgot he's a serial romantic. <gasps> oh my goodness, that doesn't go with his aspiration at all, does it? Oops. <sighs> Man, that sucks. I completely forgot that... He was a serial romantic. Shoot. That doesn't make any sense at all, does it? Oh my god, look at all these people you don't like. Or that don't like you. Alright, it is wedding day. Everyone s changing into- Oh, look at- Oh, Hello! Wearing white to a wedding. Cool. Hello, everybody. Nice top hat. Very nice. Talk to guests for two hours. Okay. Oh my gosh, look who came. Did we invite him? Did we invite him? I don't remember. But he's here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. No hug or... Oh! Did you see his face? He was like, wait a minute. Wait, what's going on here? It's been nine months since I've seen her. Why is she pregnant now? And why didn't she tell me? Is it mine? I am so confused. I'm just going to go with the flow. If it was mine, she would have told me, right? Right? Wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, okay, I think everyone is here. It's snowing. Why is it always snowing when I want to have a wedding? So annoying. Oh my gosh, all is in labor. <gasps> oh shoot. Okay, okay. Um take paid time off. Um Okay, let's just let's get them to get married. Oh my gosh, look at this winter wonderland right now. How gorgeous. Yay, everyone's coming. How sweet. Oh gosh, it looks like we need more chairs. Aww. Aww. 
Zara! Girl, come on now! Oh my god, I hate you. Okay. Moving on to the next thing. I want her to just have the baby right here, but we're gonna have it at the hospital. Okay, we got a gold on the wedding, okay? Just <laughs> logging that in my head right now so that we can get points for it. Gold wedding. Okay, fingers crossed that this baby's a boy so we don't have to have any more kids. I haven't even thought about names yet. Here we go. It's baby time. Okay. Who's our doctor? Lucia DeFranco, we've definitely seen her around. The next heir is being born, y'all. Hopefully. Oh, and I haven't even thought about names. Oh boy, shoot. Um. Hmm. I don't even know what it is yet. What if she has twins? <gasps> or triplets? Oh my word. Oh my god, it's a boy! <gasps> it's a freaking boy. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... <laughs> so, Carlos... His nickname is Charlie, or so he sometimes goes by Charlie. I think that would be kind of cute to, uh, you know, honor her grandpa like that. Charlie Campos. I like it. We're doing it. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. Just one baby. One baby. One. Hello, little Charlie. Good job, Olive. You did it. You got through your teen pregnancy. Let's see how good you are at parenting. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am going to move Oliver out. Um, I'm gonna move him in with Zach, probably in an apartment in the city or something like that. Let me just take note of what he has. He has good manners. He's responsible. Did he max any of his skills? No, not even close. And his aspiration's not done either. Okay, well, at least we have the good manners and responsible thing. Look at Jerome. He's such a cool kid. I mean, this outfit's so strange, but I don't know. I like him a lot. He's really cool. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode right here. So much happened so much happened but i'm so excited for like the way that these guys' storylines are ending look who's here look who showed up or was he here all along because of the wedding i don't know but he's here and i don't know how i feel about it so yeah in the next in the future episodes we're gonna get zara with dirk max i'm probably gonna move him in with april so that he can assist her in raising max jr since his other kids are adults now. Um, in the next episode, we're going to get Olive aged up. Yeah, she was pregnant, so like, oh, that's right, she was pregnant, so she didn't age. Okay, yeah, so her and her baby are both going to be aging up on the same day. Um, Oliver, I'm gonna move him out with Zach. They're gonna get their own apartment together, probably in the city. Um, and then once Zara and Max max their skills, I'm trying to get Zara to max her video gaming skill and I'm trying to get Max to max his cooking and charisma skills. Once they do that, I'm going to move them out. So the only people that are going to be left in the house are Ren, Olive, and Charlie. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited to uh, start this new air, this new generation. I hope you guys are too. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!